Hey everyone. Okay, I'm going to go through these words. Some of these we've done before, but some of these are very new. Of my former job, when I'm talking about my former job, my former life, I'm talking about my previous life. Sorry, I forgot to write it here. My subsequent thing, it means my next thing. Sorry about that, I forgot to write it on. If we instigate something, we start it. Sorry, that's another word that I didn't teach you really this week. If something is peculiar, it's queer, it's strange, it's weird, it's odd. We don't use this word as much anymore, but it does mean the same thing. We've got four throw idioms here. To throw a spanner in the works is when something stops working. And it could be for various reasons. If the lights turn off now, that will throw a spanner in the works. If somebody comes along and does something, he will throw a spanner in the works. So it could be people can throw a spanner in the works or something happening can throw a spanner in the works. To throw in the towel means to give up or surrender. And yes, it comes from boxing when the, when the manager of your, the boxer throws in the towel to say stop the game. To throw your toys out of the pram means to have a tantrum or to throw a tantrum to get really really angry and start shouting and screaming and just going crazy it's mainly used for kids but of course adults can do it too when they're acting in a very immature way in a very childish way and the last one to throw caution to the wind means to take a risk okay if you are an impetuous person, you're impulsive, you're spontaneous. Basically, you act without thinking. You might buy an expensive thing, you might just say, right, I'm going on holiday tomorrow, see you. You know, it's just you do things and you don't think about the consequences of your actions. Sometimes it can be great, but sometimes it can have very negative effects as well. Depends. Severe means harsh, strict and very strong. So, uh, I was talking about my last job where the director um, had severe pressure on him. A lot of very hard pressure. Um, if you're on the verge of doing something or you're just standing on the verge, you're standing on the edge of something. I use this in the context that at my last job I was on the verge of handing in my notice of saying, I quit. I was on the verge for many years. To buckle means to break. Yes, it can also mean the buckle on your boot, if you have one, I don't. Uh, but it's basically when something, you put something under a lot of pressure and it bends, and then if you put it under more pressure, it just breaks. That's what it means to buckle. Um, Drive, well we know this one, but drive can also mean to push yourself forward, to advance yourself. Sometimes I feel like I'm a, I'm a, I, I drive myself forward, especially when I do my work like this, I love so much. Now, if you scrutinise somebody, you investigate them. I wrote a few notes here. Um, if someone scrutinised me, I can also say, I came under scrutiny. That's an expression that you use. So I'm using the word scrutinize here as a verb. If I scrutinize you or you scrutinize me, but we can say, I came under scrutiny, which is scrutiny is now a noun, which means somebody investigated me. It's just a different way of saying it, okay? It's a great word to use for a deep investigation. Uh, temperamental. Erratic. You change your emotions very, very easily. One minute you're happy, next minute you're crying, next minute you're calm, next minute you're angry. Temperamental, erratic behaviour. If you're a pushy person, you're demanding and you're bossy. It's a negative word. If you want to make this word positive, you could say, I'm an assertive person. So I'm pushing and demanding still, but in a more positive way, more motivational. Whereas this is quite negative, demanding, bossy, aggressive. Tempestuous means stormy. So if you have a tempestuous relationship, you're always arguing and fighting all the time. And finally, 
wasn't in, in the story, but if you're accustomed to something, you're used to it, you're used to doing it, you're familiar with it. This just came up as a problem today on my online group, so I thought I'd explain it again. Thanks a lot.